Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 67 of our shit drive campaign in Crash the Reckonings 2. Let's continue. So, what the hell going in this game? <laughs> I don't remember anything. In such a long time. Yeah, but I'm kind of back. I almost, like, uh, uh, almost done with my uh, studying, so... I'm not completely done, but uh, I have more free time right now, so... I decided to record some extra... Extra stuff, so... I need to remember now what's going on. I've kind of rewatched uh, the previous episode. I remember that we've uh, uh, that we've captured these three provinces from a rebellion of some sort from Mosaids, I think. And I've been uh, considering attacking Tulunids, but unfortunately it failed because at some point they actually joined the faction against me. And yeah, I've been. Uh, I also remember being complaining about this faction bullshit. Uh, for quite a long time, and it's not going anywhere, I'm still gonna be complaining about that, but yeah. Looks like we're currently not really gonna be able to do much, because we have this 71% threat shit, and we have like everyone, yeah, all of our neighbors are in this faction, so I couldn't attack anyone right now. And it's kind of annoying, uh, but oh well. So... I guess we're just gonna be doing, like, I don't know, management, vassal management, some sort of management, right now, oh yeah, <laughs> the most important management is of course, uh, educating children, because, you know, um, okay, you go for diplomacy, because I don't give a shit, and, can I build any more retinues, I think I've been focusing on heavy cavalry, mostly, right, yeah, heavy and light cavalry, have 5,000 of this retinue, but uh, we couldn't add any more. And also, I've been... Oh, al Nasiriyak got converted to our fate. That's great. Yeah, I've also been, I think, building um, extra trade posts somewhere around here. Like, where? Yeah, like in here. This Kozestan province and somewhere else, like this one. Yeah. So, we're gonna have some more. Uh, our uh, trade post limit is, or we are kept on our trade post limit, so that's fine. The tour was born to my cousin. How's our succession looking, by the way? Mm, we have our cousin, who is a genius. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. I remember that. Also, I remember changing uh, uh, the laws a little bit, the council laws a little bit. So, I have like most, or most of the power on the council. Is actually like as our ruler have the most authority, so that's great. Hopefully, gonna be able to change change it a little bit more. Tulins won't emerge with my kinswoman. Nope, and you're just a rebellioner, so I don't care about that. Oh my goodness, we're gonna deal with that again. They're just gonna send me offers over and over and over. And yeah, Italy looks like still winning, still winning their war, right? Because. The Tulunid army is actually pretty stupid. They couldn't do much. Oh. Wait a second. Have they just changed a ruler a second ago and I had a chance to declare a war on them before they joined the faction? God damn it. I haven't noticed that, but yeah, looks like uh, that's why they've been sending the marriage offers to me. My daughter needs education. That's cool. Go for diplomacy. Uh, and you go for whatever. So, what are you supposed to do in this game if not declaring wars? I have no idea. Uh, have you just married or what? Yeah, you have just married. So, if I can declare wars in my region, is there any chance I could declare a war like outside my region? Like this Simaka maybe think? Who do I have CBs on? I don't have a CB on business in Empire. Uh -huh. I do also somehow have a CB on Italy. Sees this... what? Why am I allowed to seize the cities? I thought seize the city CB only happens when you build trade posts in their... Uh, in their lands, but I don't have... I don't have trade posts in here. That's weird. Uh, Italy. How powerful are you? Relatively powerful, and also... Who's gonna protect you if I were to 
to do that, Kingdom of Bavaria. Bavaria is... Oh, really? This tiny thing actually has more armies than the Italy itself. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna be doing that. How much of an army I have? I already don't remember. Oh, I actually have a pretty sizable army, like 23. Okay, not that bad. But I still want to take someone who is like relatively small, if possible. Please. Or should I just go and try to like fabricate a claim? Oh, summon it. Could I attack you? Oh, summon it is actually this huge thing. Never mind. Go. Uh, what if I were to like fabricate a claim? On I don't know. Summon around here, around Europe. Am I actually gonna be allowed to do that? Like I don't know, Mari. Actually, it's <laughs> it's a little bit too far away for my uh, for my troops to probably march. Uh, Karakum, are you like independent in one province? You are. Could I fabricate a claim on you? I can. Okay, let's go and try to do that. I think if I'm not gonna be allowed to uh, declare wars on my neighbors, I'm gonna be expanding outside of my borders. Or outside of the borders of my neighbors. Uh, you could become diligent, sure. And you still became greedy. Little bastard. Uh, also, you have plenty of cash. Could we upgrade our personal mansion? We could not. Let's go and upgrade some more trade posts then, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's where uh, that's where we've been spending our money. All this time, yeah. All of this stuff is already upgraded, almost. To the max. And also, all of this garrison upgrades should give me some extra uh, retinue. Retinue cap, which is also gonna be quite nice. Actually, if I were to fabricate this claim, I could easily... Could easily conquer Karakum using just my uh, just my retinue, five thousand against their army of two thousand, and they have like no allies, right? Uh, you do have some, but they are not really that significant. Okay, more f uh, more education for you. <sighs> Should I or do I really need to remember this thing again? I guess. Kind of annoying. Musaids, how are you doing? You're in the faction against me? Yeah, that's not a surprise. Knights Hospital are still staying here. You just absorbed something. Italy, how are you doing? Oh, you're actually starting to... L oh! Okay, so army from here actually moved away, so... <laughs> maybe me not... Uh, maybe me, me not starting this game for like uh, two weeks. Actually resetted the AI. <laughs> and now Tulin is gonna start taking uh, back their lands, because... It would be pretty embarrassing if they were to lose this war when they have 18k troops and Italy only have 6. Um, also, how mm, how well could our guy uh, fabricate claims? Almost 19% a year. I hope we're gonna be able to fabricate it in uh, like in this episode. I would be really... I would really appreciate that. Uh, how's our threat coming down? Hmm, it's actually coming down relatively quickly. Ah, okay, we lost some... some cash. Yeah, it's come down relatively quickly, but it's still... Uh, no one's still lo uh, living factions. I guess it's not gonna happen that quick, unfortunately. Okay, what are you gonna be doing? You have Lisp or Stutter. Go... for Heritage, I guess. There is of careful planning. This guy decided to go somewhere and press something. It's his claim, I guess. Okay, sure. Why do I care? Um, Send of language. Get one learning for free. Sure. Oh, I'm also possessed apparently. As this character. And remember that happen. And we're getting pillaged by... By just some Indian guy. Oh yeah, we have lands in here by the way. And actually a uh, whole dachi, right? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Mm, how's our trade posts looking? Okay, we finished trade posts in here. Our... Uh, our font is all screwed up again. Uh, and we're over our, we're over our trade post limit. That's fine. Uh, how about our retina limit? It do got increased thanks to my upgrades. Or haven't they finished yet? They have not. Okay, that's fine too. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Okay, there is some garrisons being done. How's the tool in the war looking? Okay, yeah. So Italy starting to lose... Pretty heavily. I just lost like 50% war scholar already. Yeah, so 
Tulin is gonna be able to win. I don't know if, if I'm happy about that or not. If the Tulin is were to uh, get weakened, it actually would be would be nice for me, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, more children with more education. I I would really like I would really like to have an option to automate uh, this thing. I think I already complained about that, but you don't mind, right? You don't mind, for sure. Okay, Karakum. Could you please give me a claim on your lands? Um, so, if I were to, like, get Karakum, I might... Oh, what is this thing as well? Mm, Shagdom Okiva, okay. Um, if I were to get claim on Karakum, or not claim, but uh, if I were to conquer Karakum, I probably would get an access to it taking Kumania. Through the sea, maybe, maybe not. And then somewhere around here. I think I would be able to fabricate claim right away in like Ross or something. It would be quite nice to try. Oh, we have a peasant revolt. Really? I thought all my peasants actually were quite happy. Okay, we lost our spy master. Let's get a new one. Do we have any powerful vassals? Want to be on the council? Yes, we do, but he's pretty garbage, so go away. Mm, and you're just gonna go and scheme in our capital f temporarily. I want to know if I have any plots against me. I don't think I do, but who knows. Okay, let's just go and send a retinue army to fight off these peasants, I think. Population in Sinjar has been converted to Shia fight. Also, I think I need to replace or I need to move my, uh, yeah, my holy man to other place. Because he's already, uh, he already finished in here. Mm. Do we have any other holy sites need to be converted? Not really. Uh, let's go and finish... Let's go and finish conversion of African region. It would be quite nice thing to do. Quite nice thing to do. Uh, would my vassals try to fight off this... Peasant revolt? Oh, looks like they don't really mind. I uh, don't really mind it happening, unfortunately. Trade posts. Still fine. You became a skimmer, okay. Uh, money. I need to spend my money somewhere. Oh, we actually finished our hidden chamber in our personal mansion. Let's go and queue something else. More learning? Nope. More martial? Maybe. Galleys or prestige? Yeah, we already, we already finished most of the useful buildings. So I guess we're just gonna be... We're just gonna be uh, constructing whatever, <laughs> whatever else left. And it's not really that... Uh, even if it's not really that much fun or not really that useful. Yeah, go become ambitious or at least try. How's factions looking? Oh, okay, we have another one. Guy who's pressing his claim. I do not care. Factions still looking the same. Italy. How are you doing? Uh, 24% in favor of Italy. Okay. You're just gonna learn by yourself. And you're just gonna learn by yourself. And we have a dangerous faction. Increase council power. God damn it, guys. You're not learning at all. I've already, like, screwed this faction, like, three times in a row or something. And you're trying to do it again anyways. Even though, most of you actually have pretty high opinion of me. Uh, do I have any honorary titles? I do. How about you're gonna become my high judge and try to, like, leave the faction, please? Uh, next one, let's go and give you a gift. And you're gonna become my High Admiral. Let's hope it's gonna be enough. Uh, this guy has 30, really? And he's still a part of the faction. Okay. G give you some money. Give you the State Inquisitor. Uh, and that's probably about... About the extent of people I could bribe. Or at least I could try to. Come on, leave the faction. At least you with 56. Okay, yeah. So, one of them at least left. And the second one left. That's great. The leader is still here, unfortunately. Have I sent you a gift? I haven't. Let's go and do this. That probably should be enough. Mm. Let's go and bribe this guy too. Just in case. We actually have, like, plenty of cash. I don't really have anywhere to spend it. Also, I have plenty of powerful vassals in there. Probably should be... I uh, should be placing some more of you on the console. Oh yeah, I only have one powerful vassal on the console. That's probably... 
part of the problem. Uh, hmm. Oh, you're actually relatively, uh, relatively decent at stewardship. I guess I'm gonna place you on the council just so you're not gonna, not gonna be such a whiny cunt. And... Yeah, that should make you happy. Anyone uh, decent could be my, like, diplomat, maybe? You have first in learning, you have... Oh, I have three powerful vassals in here. Do I have, like, an advisor slot or whatever, where I could place it? Yeah, an advisor. I was gonna place one of you as an advisor. Mm, oh, excuse me? Why on this list? Oh, never mind. Uh, never mind. So, who's that gonna be? Emir, Emir. Emir. Doesn't really matter which one it's gonna be. Let's go and take you because you have the most opinion of me already. Oh, and you're not even a loyalist right away. You're a glory hunt. God damn it. Okay, but at least I've gotten rid of two powerful vassals who's been whining now and have three supporters in this faction. And this guy's still here with 75 opinion of me. Come on. You should be given a... Uh, you should be leaving this faction. Should be stop. Should stop being the leader. But oh well. Also, our army almost arrived to this peasant revolt. You spent weeks in the wilderness searching for an interest of your prey. Oh, okay. Apparently, I've been going on the hunt, and I haven't noticed that. Twenty percent chance of becoming stressed or wroth. And of course, we became wroth. Oh well. What gi what it gives us? P plus free marshal. I guess it's not terrible. Uh, there is no one better in, at increasing Shea's charge opinion of me. Something, something. Sure. I don't know what you want. Mech against slavery reinforcements. That's cool. And 100% in here. Go away. How's our threat looking? 67. I don't know what the threshold... Uh, threshold for the people to start leaving the faction. But I wouldn't... <laughs> I wouldn't think that it's gonna be like lower than maybe like 50%. Also, why the heck... We have lands in here? Was it in here that or something? I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like that. Also, do I have all the duchess created in here? I can create. Yeah, looks like so. Oh yeah, I also wanted to become an empire. Uh, to be able to have uh, kingdom level vassals, but for me to become an emperor, I would need to conquer some more lands somewhere. And unfortunately, I couldn't usurp this freaking Arabian Empire because Musa it still exists, and apparently, oh, it's a, uh, yeah, it's also his primary title. But this pop also said that uh, republics are not allowed to usurp. Uh, empires for some reason. You go away. Italy, how's your war? Have you finished already? Yeah, looks like so. So, you've lost, right? Mm, actually, they decided to take white piece. Tool needs. Such an idiot. Uh, okay. Someone just got education. Oh yeah, we have plenty of prisoners, by the way. How about we're gonna go and ransom some of them? Because they're getting education in our prison. And I don't really care about these messages. Or I kill, uh, all I care about is gold. I hope it's not like, not like my vassals or someone. No, just uh, yeah, just the prisoners of uh, of war. On my previous war I had with the Musaids. So let's go and release whoever we can. And the rest just gonna rot in my prison forever, I guess. Uh, I always knew my ambition would help me reach great places and acquire some wealth. Oh, okay. That's cool. 200 ducats for free. Ladit! What are you and why you exist? Oh! Yazidis, Sunni heresy. So you just, like broke free from someone. Oh yeah, and because I've been beaten, <laughs> beaten Sunni religion so heavily, Yazidi actually starting to spread quite a lot. So we might expect Yazidi becoming a uh, dominant at some point. Uh, okay, we also have 1000 ducats. Might consider spending on something else. I think we already upgraded most of the trade posts around our capital, but not all of them, like, along the coast. 
Mm hmm. I'm not gonna, not even gonna look what kind of buildings I'm gonna construct because it doesn't really matter. And we could build a war chest. Uh, why would I want to build a war chest if we were not even at war? Also, what is this? Opposite. What? Ah, uh, opposite emirate. Oh. Okay, I almost thought it's opposite empire. And what are you fighting for? A taken uh, Nasrid, an opposite conquest of Ravha. Excuse me? My vassals declaring conquest on each other? How is it even possible? Opposite Emirate. That's weird. Why is it allowed to do this? I don't know, but for now it's actually already time for me to have a break, guys. So I'm gonna do this and we're gonna continue in the next episode. Let's hope our claim on, uh, on Karakum gonna be done to, to the next episode and we're gonna, or in the next episode, and we're gonna be able to start or continue our expansion. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like, if you want to see more, subscribe, and if you want to leave a comment, definitely do it, and I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.